So I think when, when we say start talking, we invite people to start talking in a very specific way, which is observation and description. Mm -hmm. We, well, what we'll say is when you're shifting from, okay, I'll tell you to you tell me, the first step is I just need you to tell me more how you see the problem. You're closer to the work than I am. So I would ask questions like, well, what do you see that I don't see? What do you know about this that I don't know? Or how does the team see it? Tell me more about it. Uh, you were with the customer the other day. How do they, how do they see? And the reason we always start with observation and description is because, first of all, it's a learnable skill. And secondly, it's safe. It doesn't feel scary for me to say, oh, yeah, the, uh, when, I, when I told them about it, the customer's face kind of went like this, and they seemed a little bit bummed out. Okay, well, let's tell me more about that. I mean, I wasn't at the meeting. You were. You saw the reaction. And this... I, I'm not going to you and say, well, what should we do about it? That's scary because I can be wrong. I can pick a court. Now you're making me make a decision, which is emotional. You're just asking me to tell you about it. And we always start there. We always start with description. And then we say, well, what do you think? How did this happen? What came before this? What's causing this? What's the root cause? And then we, then we go to, so if you were me, what would you do? So it's this graduated process.